All right, what's going on, everyone? This is Brett Fierstead, personal trainer from Dream and Achieve Fitness. I'm gonna show you my back and biceps workout for the day. Uh, of course, I start out with a warm up set or a couple warm up sets just to get blood into that muscle group and then stretch and then get into my working sets. So right here, I start with a lat pull down, um, driving that bar to your sternum or your chest. Bring those elbows behind your back at an angle. Get a good squeeze at the bottom, hold it for like a second, and control it on the way up. Your muscle works in two ways, the concentric phase, or the hard part, and the eccentric phase, the stretch of the muscles. So you want to do both nice, slow, and controlled movements. Um, build those wings up, baby. Let's go. And then right after that, I'm doing a compound movement where I go to a rope straight arm pull down to really isolate those lats in a different way. Um, still hitting those lats. Um, try to always keep your body at a good angle here. Arms nice and straight. Drive those hands to your hips and try to bring those elbows behind your back a little bit more to squeeze those lats even, even more yet, baby. Um, so like I said, compound sets, same muscle group, two different exercises in a row. And I did three sets of 10 on everything. So just so you guys know. Next movement I'm going into rows with dumbbells. If you watch my shoulder, I retract it first and then I drive my elbow up. That retraction movement is definitely hitting those traps and rhomboids because your scaps or your shoulder blades are angling inward which is squeezing those traps and rhomboids before you drive that elbow up. Um, I'm at an angle here which is going to put a little more emphasis on the uh, lats a little bit too, um, but definitely hitting those traps and rhomboids up the back area. Uh, once again, three sets of ten. Uh, another thing here, you know, you could use grip or uh, wristbands or straps. I don't, unless I'm going extremely heavy, um, just because I like to feel the isolation in the muscle. Um, it's also going to help with that grip strength and your forearm strength too. So. No need to be doing flex or extensor exercises to hit that grip strength. Just grab heavy weight like deadlifts, rows, things of that nature, and you'll work that grip strength. Right after that, I'm going into unilateral cable rows. Retracting that shoulder first, then driving that elbow back. Still working traps and rhomboids. Compound sets, two exercises in a row. Get at me. If you guys have questions on videos or want different videos, let me know. Um, I don't have a lot of time for these videos, but I, I try to get some off to you. Um, change hands here. Got new tats there too, so if you want some picture of the tats, let me know. Uh, I'll get some of those off too. Maybe do a video on tattoos. Um, but always pinching and pulling, retract, and then pull. Good squeeze at the top, concentrate on the muscle you work it. Next movement I get into is called a rack pull. It's definitely working your erector spinings, which are your lower back muscles. Um, I do have this set up a little high. Uh, I realized that I needed to go down probably one more setting on those bars. Um, but definitely lift up with that lower back and kind of drive those hips through the bar, kind of like a deadlift or a stiff-legged stiff deadlift. Um, hitting the lower back and the hips in this one. Also that grip strength again. Right after that, going right into a back extension weighted to hit those back erector spinings again. Compound set once again. So like I said, compound sets on this day, three sets of 10, um, fairly decent weight. Of course, it's not the heaviest I can go, but uh, good decent weight, good burn. When you're doing these erector spine back extensions, make sure you get full flexion and extension of that trunk. Um, don't hyper extend. Right after that, I get into my bicep routine. Right here, just doing a preacher curl bar with my hands on the outside, so it's really isolating the inside of my bicep. Only coming up to about a fist length away from your shoulder. Reason being is it's gonna keep tension on those biceps. If you're coming all the way up to your shoulder with your curls, you are resting at that position when you come up to that shoulder. Um, so always keeping tension, controlling both the negative and the contraction those babies up all right right here I go right into a unilateral dumbbell curl with a little rotation at the top um, just to hit the peak a little bit more the peak of the bicep uh, so a compound set right after preacher curl into dumbbells 
um, really twist up at the top if you really want to contract it even more yet. Right here, I'm starting to get really tired. Um, you can utilize fat grips on these things too if you really want to work your grip strength. Um, but that's in another video that I've done. You can check that out on my channel, Mr. Fear 41 or Dream and Achieve Fitness. One pet peeve I have is people rocking, grabbing dumbbells and really rocking their whole back into it. Don't do any of that garbage. Keep your elbows tucked into your ribs. Flex your arm all the way up to about fist length away from the shoulder and then all the way back down to the, to the hips. Here I'm doing some reverse curls. Straight bar reverse curls. And I'm going right into a preacher hammer curl. Now a hammer curl grip or neutral grip is going to hit the short head of your bicep. You have two biceps long and short head. This is isolating the short head and it's actually going to hit your forearm muscles too. So, um, Once again guys, compound sets, back and biceps. Let me know what you think. Please like the video, all that good stuff. Dreamy Chief Fitness, Facebook page. Peace.